Hi everyone, this is Sherry from Planning Peep and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be memory planning. This will be for the week of November 9th through the 15th. And for this week, I have a um, fall themed kit. This is from K Stickers Co. And I actually picked this up so long ago. It was the very first fall kit that I purchased. So I'm actually really excited to finally get to use it. These colors are so bright and bold and um, just these like deep purples and oranges are um, not ones that I use often in my plan. So I'm looking forward to pulling it in. Um, so really quick on this first page, we have the full boxes and this kit is um, foiled in a gold foil, as you can see. And then we have some date covers here at the bottom. The second page has all the headers, check flags, um, regular flags, circle icons, and a habit tracker. And this next page has the bottom washi, which is foiled, and some washi strips. And then the last page has these eight um, half boxes. We've got text stickers and icons, some foiled date dots, and then a weekend banner. So there's definitely quite a bit to work with, but um, I do think that I will need to pull in some quarter boxes because I didn't see it as I went through the pages. Um, she has the half boxes and the washi strips but um, I do love using like quarter and third boxes so I'll try to find some in my collection that might match this kit um, although it might be kind of hard because again I don't really use these colors very often but um, we'll just kind of have to see so without further ado let's go ahead and jump right in and as usual I'm going to start by placing down my bottom washi Oh my gosh, you guys, it has been so, so long since I've been on here and uploaded a video. I'm so sorry for this unexpected hiatus. I really wasn't planning on taking such a long break, but life just got super crazy and busy and we are in the process of moving into our new house, which is really exciting, but my planner space has not been set up yet. Um, I kind of broke part of my desk while moving, so I have to figure out if I want to get a new desk or um, get some new filming equipment, but anyways, it's just been a while. Um, I really hope you guys had a wonderful holiday. I know it's like so far behind us, but I don't think I got to talk to you guys before then. So I hope you guys had a wonderful Christmas and a good start to the new year. Um, I think for many of us who live here in the U.S., it's been definitely a rocky start, but I am looking forward to some better days ahead. So anyways, moving on to this spread, I actually filmed this um, probably a month ago, so I don't really remember everything that I did. So I apologize in advance if this video is just like a hot mess because I feel like I am so rusty right now. It's been forever. Um, and then the other thing I wanted to mention is that I am planning to still plan all of my spreads, my memory spreads. So I know there are some of you who um, really don't enjoy watching holiday videos after the holidays are over. So I apologize for this period while I try to catch up. I don't even know if it's like possible at this point, but um, I do really like to make videos for my own memory purposes. Um, this is like my way of journaling and I just don't really like skipping weeks because I like having my life documented this way. Um, so that's, you know, another thing I apologize for if this is just not your jam. I totally understand and, you know, it's totally fine if you um, choose not to watch these videos while I get through these holiday spreads. But yeah, I just wanted to kind of let you you guys know what was going on and what to expect before I jump into the spread. At this point, I've laid down all the basics for this spread. So the bottom washi, the date covers, and my sidebar. The text stickers in the sidebar are in my writing and they're from Planner Just For You. Okay, now moving on to Monday, I first placed down a Today header and I used a foiled hexagon sticker from Planning World. I actually got those from Rachel from Gathered Plans um, and she had sent along a bunch of sheets that she wasn't really going to be using as much. So thank you so much, Rachel. I now have a whole collection of these really functional stickers to pull in and I do pull quite a few of those into this spread. That sweater weather sticker is from um, what used to be Regina Laughs, but she recently changed her shop. Um, I think it's Miss and Meow, I believe, and I'll link her shop down below. Those are super cute. And then underneath that, I used a coffee sticker from Paper and Milk with a Coffee Monday sticker in my writing. And so again, that's from Planner Just For You. I placed down a quarter box and that's also from Planning World. That foiled utensil sticker I think is from the Pretty Pink Co, but I might be wrong because I have so many foiled stickers now it's like hard to keep track of where everything's from, but I used that to mark what I grabbed for lunch that day and then I placed down a full box underneath. 
On the half box, I used a workout time sticker, which was a leftover sticker in my collection. So unfortunately, I don't remember which shop that's from. Um, and then at the very bottom, I used a TV icon from Brandy's shop to mark that we watched the show Emily in Paris, which I really enjoyed, even though I know it was like really cheesy and silly, but I was definitely a big fan. Moving on to Tuesday, I first placed down a full box at the bottom. Then at the very top, I used a today header with a half box. And um, this working girl sticker I pulled in is from Happy Dia Stickers. I used that to mark having a busy day at work. And then I used a flag sticker from the kit with this foiled IEP meeting sticker from Hazel Sticker to mark that I had an IEP meeting, of course, that afternoon. Um, and then I used a glitter header from Mandy Dreams. On the quarter box, I used a shopping bag sticker from Hazel Sticker to mark that I had to go to H&M really quick to do a return. I had bought some stuff online and um, had to return a few things that didn't fit. And then I did a workout when I got home. So I used this workout girl from Whimsical Cat Studio and that workout time sticker is in my writing from Planner Just For You. We watched more of Emily in Paris that night, so I used a TV sticker from Nicole Hutch Designs, and then I decided to put down these little heart stickers inside the TV. Those are from, I think, the Pretty Pink Co., and they just fit really perfectly and added a little foil. On Wednesday, I first placed down a full box at the very top. Then I placed down this foiled Veterans Day sticker on top of it, and that is from Chic Blossom Prints. Um, Wednesday was Veterans Day here in the United States where we celebrate um, our veterans and all that they have sacrificed and done for our country. And then underneath that, I used a to-do header with a three heart checklist to mark some things that we did that morning. We were still in the process of house searching at this point, which honestly feels like a lifetime ago. And then I did have to do another return at Target. So I use this little shop icon. I think that's from GT Girls Designs. I just got some stickers from her a couple months ago. I still have to share that haul video because I got so many goodies. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty sure that's from her shop. And then I placed down a washi strip with this heart icon from Hazel Sticker to mark that we went over to some of our friend's house and just kind of hung out there for the day. That glitter header is from Mandy Dreams again. And then I used another flag sticker. I put it on its side with this noodle emoji from the Coffee Monsters Co. to mark that we went and grabbed some lunch. And as I was editing this, I realized that that was like the last time I went out to eat at a restaurant. And that was like two months ago, which is so crazy. Um, but COVID has just gotten pretty bad where I live. So we're really trying to be like more careful and just refraining from going out if we can. On the half box at the bottom, I placed down this rib sticker and that's from Happy Dia Stickers to mark that we also had dinner with our friends and um, they had made some ribs. So that's what we had for dinner. On Thursday, I first placed down a today header, um, but then I decided to lift it up and I used a half box at the very top instead. That marshmallow on fire sticker is from Paper and Milk, and I used that to mark that I had another really long and really busy day at work. Um, November was pretty rough for me in terms of work. I think I was at work like nine to 10 hours every single day, so I was just super, super exhausted that month. Um, then underneath that, I used a flag with another IEP meeting sticker from Hazel sticker to mark another meeting that I had. I then placed down a full box and then I decided to place down the full box that I wanted to use for Friday. Um, so I go ahead and lay that down. Then uh, moving back to Thursday, I used a little things header with an icon that came in the kit to mark that we did a Zoom birthday celebration for one of our friends. Um, we just had some drinks and played some games. Um, so I also used this game night text sticker and that is from Bookish Planning. That was pretty much all we did on Thursday night. So I go ahead and move on to Friday. I first placed down a glitter header from Mandy Dreams, and then I used a coffee sticker from Paper and Milk to mark that I made some Dalgona coffee that morning. I used a scallop label with a um, pencil icon from Hazel Sticker to mark that I had some testing to do that morning, and then I initially used this little car sticker from Nicole Hutch Designs, but I ended up replacing it for another car sticker instead that was a bit larger, and I don't really remember why I made that switch, but that car sticker is from my leftovers stash, so I actually don't know where that's from. 
I then had another IEP meeting that afternoon. So I go ahead and mark it the same way that I marked the other meetings previously. And then I decided to shift down the half box, or I'm sorry, the full box so that I could fit a half box in the remaining space. I did a workout and I edited a plan with me that night. That gold foiled shoe sticker, I believe is from art box stickers, but unfortunately she recently closed her shop. So um, those are not available anymore, which is so sad because I just absolutely loved her shop. Moving on to the weekend, I first placed down some washi strips at the very top, and then I used the very large weekend text sticker there at the top. On Saturday, I first placed down a full box, then I used a today header with a three heart checklist to mark some things that I did that Saturday. Um, I did upload a plan with me, so I used this really cute social media bear icon. That's from Olive Planner Co. It's so adorable. And then I also used a tidy up sticker in my writing. Um, that's from Planner Just For You to mark that I did a little bit of cleaning and tidying on Saturday. We had some friends over to play Mahjong, so I placed that on the half box, and the Mahjong sticker is from Hazel Sticker. Mahjong days are like my favorite because we end up getting like a ton of food, we get boba, um, we end up having beer, and we just like sit and play and chat and have a great time. So um, I love Mahjong days. It's been a while since we've done them, again, because of COVID. So looking at these plans right now is just making me feel so nostalgic. Um, and just like miss all the fun things that we used to do. Um, but anyways, then I used a flag sticker with a drinks icon. I think that's from art box stickers or paper muse crafts. I can't quite remember, um, but I used that to mark having some drinks. And I also used that sandwich sticker from once more with love to mark that we made some sandwiches for dinner. On Sunday, I first placed down a full box at the very bottom, and then I laid down some boxes and some functional stickers that I knew that I wanted to use. At the very top, underneath that today header, I used a flag and a meal icon. I think that's from Paper Muse Crafts. And I used that to mark making some collard greens that morning because we were doing like a Sunday lunch with some of our friends. I decided to mark our lunch on the half box and that little steak sticker I used, I can't remember which shop that's from because I think it was also in my leftovers book. Oh, actually, I think that might be from Happy Sherpa Papery, and that was really perfect to mark our lunch feast. Um, and then underneath that, I moved to the very bottom where I had placed down a glitter header from Mandy Dreams, and then I used a hexagon icon from Planning World along with this fire sticker from a shop that's no longer open, and I used that to mark hanging out in our friend's backyard. Um, they have have like a little fireplace so it was really nice we just got to sit around the fire and chat and yeah that was just a good time and I really really miss that right now but at the very bottom when we got home I did a zoom chat with some of my friends so I put that on a quarter box and I believe that phone sticker I placed down is from planning like a pro that concludes my week and it was kind of an eventful week since we had a day off work in the middle of the week. Um, but yeah, now I'm just going back and filling out my sidebar. As always, I track my workouts, my happy moments, and my dinners. Those are just the things that I really like to track every week. And now I'm just showing you guys these stickers that I have left in this kit. Since I did pull in some foils, I'm doing a quick fiv wiggle to show you guys all the foiling um, that is in the spread. And yeah, now I'm just doing a walkthrough so you can see the spread a little bit better. I know we're like so far past the fall season, but um, I actually really enjoyed doing this voiceover because I feel like it reminded me of what happened this week and just really made me happy to think about like all the good memories that I had. And yeah, that's honestly the reason that I love to do memory planning because um, I have a terrible memory. So if I don't like jot down or like memory plan what I've done, I honestly like won't remember. So yeah, this just like reminded me how much I enjoy this process. But anyways, I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this. Please, please let me know if you guys have any questions. Um, I know it's been forever and I'm gonna try to get back to all my comments as soon as I can. Um, thank you so, so much for those of you who still wanted to join me today, even though I know I'm so far behind. Um, I appreciate you guys so much from the bottom of my heart. I miss you guys dearly, and I really hope you guys are doing well. Um, thank you again for watching, and I will talk to you guys next time, hopefully sooner than later. Bye.